Now you can start customizing your dashboard. If you hover over a widget, you will find the option to edit it. The first menu is called Basic Settings. This is where you'll find the option to modify the metric or dimension, the filters, and you can modify the title and labels. The Data Display menu will allow you to modify the visual of your widget. For example, you could hide or activate fluctuations and select different comparative formats. Various widgets will have different options. For example, in the Gauge widget, you will have the option to adjust the thresholds to set a custom target and display how you're doing towards meeting that objective. The Markup Options menu will allow you to add a percentage or flat rate to any cost widget. The Merge Widgets option will allow you to combine data from different integrations together. For example, you could combine your Google Ads cost and your Facebook Ads amount spent and use the Merge option to get a total of all your paid channels. And lastly, the Widget Info menu will allow you to view which integration, data source, metrics, dimensions, and filters are used in this widget. It is also possible to add notes in your widgets, like definitions. This note will be for the same period no matter what period you're looking at. So make sure not to add your insights for the period in this note. Instead, use the Comments widget. The comments do not overwrite past periods, so it would be more appropriate for this use case. If necessary, you can move widgets from the template and place them wherever you need. Now that your dashboard has been completed, you can customize it by adding a logo, apply a preset color theme of your choice, or create a custom one with your choice of colors. 